go do your nails, go do your hair. You come home an hour later, two hours later, you have a perfect hot meal. You can go open your bottle of wine with you your brand new... You can go have a glass new, of wine and watch TV. new bottle yeah. opener, right? Brenda, thank you so much. Thank We're you, glad. Brenda. Enjoy. Thanks glad for calling. Glad you're enjoying everything. This is amazing because if you've never had pressure-cooked food, I mean, yeah. Chef, there's just, there's no flavor like pressure cooking. It is, it's about the way it pushes that flavor right yeah. into it and infuses everything. Now, here I I'm making pasta and cheese, like macaroni and cheese. I add a little milk and some grated cheese, cheddar cheese, whatever you like, a little parmesan or anything. Mm -hmm. Stir it well together. Now, if you like the way I like it, I like when there's a crust on the bottom, so all you have to do is put the lid back on mm -hmm. and cook it for two more minutes under pressure. Unbelievable. And you get macaronis the way I like them. Huh? So Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. Look at that. Mm. That looks incredible. Yeah, look at that. So, <laughs> so easy. So one pot makes it all. Simple, fast, and easy. Look at that. And for you bring that 20... to the table and people yeah. are going to say, oh my God, where did you learn how to cook like that? <laughs> They're you not tell gonna me, say I anything. Think, They're gonna be eating. Yeah. <laughs> they you won't have their you give full. their pressure cooker a name and tell them this is Wolfgang <laughs> taught me how to cook. Exactly. <laughs> and less than twenty dollars to get it home today yeah. with that free shipping and free handling. Free shipping, you know, Amazing. this is really Big. a great size. If you have a second home, a summer home or anything like that, use that because you can cook anything, even if it's simple rice. Mm. You can cook simple rice in here. I remember when my boys were really little, Alexander and Oliver, when they were like uh, two years old, we stayed at the hotel here. They hated the food at the hotel. There was nothing to eat for them. So I took the pressure cooker. We had the smaller one at that time. Right. Put pasta in it, put uh, uh, a little milk in it, a little stock in it, and then cheese. We made macaroni and cheese, and they <laughs> thought the hotel had the best food. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. <laughs> well, they definitely have the best chef. <laughs> no, no question about it. But you will be, I'm sorry, but you yeah. will be as good as Chef Wolfgang Puck when it comes to the pressure cooker because it makes it, it almost makes it itself. Yeah. It's now, so you simple. also can use it just as a cooktop. Look at that. We have chicken soup here with matzo balls. Mm -hmm. So Gorgeous. you can just l use it as a cooktop or as a warmer or as a buffet server. So you don't have to worry about anything. See that? It's boiling in here. So you actually can just use it as a pot, a regular pot. And you know, when you go Thanksgiving or anything like that, you always need something extra to keep your food warm. This is the way to go. So now you have warm soup or warm, uh, uh, or warm puree or whatever mm -hmm. it is in there. But when you smell this chicken soup, it smells different from when you just, I know. when this you're boiling the, it on the, the stove top and everything's going out of it. This is the best chicken soup you get, the richest one because, because it's under pressure. So you get all the nutrients, all the flavors out of the bones, out of the mm -hmm. cartilages. And instead of cooking it for how long we cook it normally? Oh, yeah. Two hours, two and a half hours, oh, three hours. You have to stand next to it to skim it and everything. You cook that in 20 minutes under pressure. So if you come home, for example, from work, and you're tired and said, I don't feel good, I'm gonna make myself a chicken soup, you can use chicken bones, chicken tights, chicken legs, throw them in here with some water, salt, vegetables, and you're done. And I, I will tell you, it, once you get this home, I'm gonna recommend one thing that you start with. You start with pulled pork and you use your recipe. Yeah. I used your pulled pork recipe. I think you make it with Marsala mm. wine. Yeah. It needs no sauce. It is so fantastic. Now look at that, Marianne loves Mexican food. So she makes taco with what do you call it, the ropa? Ropa vieja. Yeah. Ropa we vieja. risked it for this one because it was on sale. Okay, good. So you can get inexpensive cuts of meat and you can get all the flavor you want. See that I don't even cut it open? That's oh, amazing. And Just... I love that about the pressure cooker. It's the guarantee of fall apart tender meat in under an hour. Yeah. I, it cooks so fast and, and maybe that makes a difference to some of us, but I, I think I'm with you, Chef. I love the flavor. Mm. Exactly. It is the flavor but is different. But you know what? You wouldn't even try to cook a curb steak if you don't have right. a pressure cooker because if it's an all-day affair then, you know, by the time right. you put it on, 
By the time you watch it and everything, it just takes too long, so. I know, I'm not gonna cook anything for six hours, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, just, I just can't watch it, I, I don't, I'm not even home long enough to, I know. to cook nobody, it that long. Nobody wants to spend that much time in the kitchen. We don't, we are all pressured for time. We have the children, we watch mm -hmm. the kids and everything, so it's really an important part. And what is so great with that, it cooks it for you without you watching it. Mm -hmm. And don't you think that the kinds of foods that are made in the pressure cooker is sort of like the slow cooker but fast? Exactly. But it's the kind of foods that taste better tomorrow. So make a lot because it's that nice big size. And then tomorrow you don't yeah. have to cook, so you have food if for you the If you make day. soup, if you make pasta, whatever you make, you can make enough. So that way you store it and one day you come home, you just take it out of the freezer, of the refrigerator, mm -hmm. heat it up, especially soups. Who doesn't like soups? Everybody. So if you don't feel good one day, you just take the things out of the uh, freezer, the refrigerator, and you have a delicious soup. So you don't have to cook all the time. Absolutely. Listen, already 400 of you have made this choice. We are very busy. Now, it is the number one best seller yeah. when it comes to Wolfgang's Now, one of our favorite things in Austria to cook and hungry and all this Middle European is goulash. Beef goulash, more so also with pork. So we use the same amount of meat, then onions, paprika, marjoram, garlic, a little tomato paste, and you make this delicious too. Serve it with spätzle, with dumplings, with anything. But you know what's interesting? I did not smell that at all until you mm -hmm. opened it up, and yeah. now the fragrance I is know. unbelievable. Then it's really amazing, and you get this beautiful, rich flavor. Look at that. And you know, I think your mom and grandma were genius making the goulash, because really 50% of that flavor in it, Alice, is the onions, which are yeah. so inexpensive. And the onions gives it sweetness. Oh, the onions have so the much cooker. flavor, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know what they used to do also, if they had a little meat left in there or just the sauce, so my mother used to make potato goulash with the leftovers. So she just threw in potatoes. And you said you liked wow. it just as well, and right? We kids. liked it. We thought that was the most <laughs> genius dish. I didn't know they didn't have a lot of money and, uh, you know, meat was very rare. We only had it on Sunday. So she made a lot of sauce and then the next day she put potatoes in it. We had a lot of potatoes where I grew up. We had potato fields and oh. everything. So all winter long. And when my mother made potato goulash, I think my sister and myself, we liked actually the potato goulash better than the, than the other one. But she was saving time and money too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that exactly the way she did it. So now again, put it on seal, mm -hmm. put it on eight minutes under pressure, and you're done. So, so now simple. you can move away, and mm -hmm. we will cook it for you. Well, frankly, I could live on your mashed potatoes. Yeah. So. <laughs> Let's go to the phones. Pamela is calling in from Maryland. Pamela, welcome to HSN. We're celebrating Chef Wolf Gangpak's 19th anniversary here. Hi, Pamela. Hello. How are you? Uh, I'm fine, thank you. Do you have the pressure cooker? Uh, mm. Yes, I got the red one. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And you um, use it? Yeah, you still have one. You just got it, or you uh, you have one already? No, I just got it today. Cookbook. I've been hunting for one, and um, you know, reading everything, and yeah. uh, and I know your products are supposed to be top of the line. So, oh yeah, I just turned on HSN, and I was like, okay, let me get All it. All right, yeah. Great. And free shipping and flex pay. You don't get that in any stores. You know that. Right, yeah. yeah. Especially the free shipping. That's great. Yeah. You got Everybody to loves try that. free Question. shipping. Thank you. I want to ask, so if I cook fresh um, beans, yeah. do I still have to soak them? Or can no. I just no. put them in there? No soaking, no nothing. How long it takes? About 20 minutes? So the longest, like for kidney, is 18 minutes. Yeah. And there's a chart in the book and in the manual okay. that comes with it, so you'll know how many minutes, but you don't have to soak them. Yeah, you don't have to soak them. And what is great for people who live in high altitude, you know yes. how difficult it is to make a bean soup or mm -hmm. anything to mm -hmm. boil them? So now you can cook them just like you would, like you would be on sea level. So it's really perfect. Now look at the potatoes here. I didn't cook them in water. Look in here. We added one cup of water just to create steam, and that's it. You see, it's totally dry, so you get 
the flavor of the potato, nice and fluffy. Oh. Put butter in it, a little milk in it, salt and pepper, and you are done. They are amazing. Pamela, thank you so thank much. Thank you, Pamela. You're Enjoy the pressure it. cooker and just look up the recipe little booklet and you will get so many great ideas. That goulash is crazy cool. Yeah. It is so good. I can't stop eating it. I have people way, ask me at the restaurant yeah. all the time, Wolfgang, when are you going to make the goulash again? And goulash. it's simple, but you know, often the simplest thing are the best one. It's and so these flavorful. slow cooked meals are really delicious because you have everything infused with flavor. And we do have the pressure cooker Here's cookbook that Marion has put together for us. You want this one, you will get great inspiration from it. I use mine all the time. So don't miss out on the cookbook as well. All right, so. Okay, here we have horseradish mashed potatoes. Oh, you know, to go with your roast beef, mm -hmm. with a steak, or with a pork chop, this is so delicious. So now you can add herbs to it. You can cook them with garlic cloves, so it's up to you, but you get the fluffiest, nicest mashed potatoes. And by the way, everything, everything, Chef Wolfgang Puck, is on five flex payments, is on free shipping and handling well, as well all month. The cabbage rolls? Now's the day that you really think about what do you want, what have you had your eye on, grab them, and uh, we want to go right back out to the phones because oh, Sue right. is on the phone. And uh, Sue, I'm sorry, where are you calling from? I'm calling from Minneapolis. Wonderful. Welcome Hi, to HSN. How are you? You should put a restaurant in Minneapolis, Wolfgang. Okay, Absolutely. all right. <laughs> you know, we had one for a while at the Walker Center, an Asian one. You know the Walker Art Museum? Oh, yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, that's beautiful. Beautiful garden, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, well, you I have the like pressure cooker already, Sue? I'm calling to wish you happy anniversary. It's Thanks so much. Thanks so much. Years. Wonderful. You know? is people like you make me come back soon because I love to talk to people. Even if I'm in a restaurant, I go in the yes. dining room, talk to people. Mm -hmm. and I yes, think you do. For me, the feedback from you is the most important part. I get so excited when I see that you are going to be on for the weekend and I like clear my my decks because <laughs> I like to okay. watch you. Thank you. <laughs> well, great. I clear mine too to be here, you know. <laughs> so <laughs> Both true. Of us. You inspire me and you make me happy. And, you know, one thing also that the, the, that the pressure cooker does, I have this pressure cooker, but I've had others over the years that you have put out. I, it would be easier to say what I don't have. <laughs> Than what I do have. Yeah, all right, so it's easy, huh? Now look at that. This, I'm really into. Oh. Hello? Uh, she was saying it was it's great for desserts. I know, it's amazing mm -hmm. to bake your flans in here, your cheesecakes in here. Now today, we are back to my childhood. Look at that. This is cabbage roll. So we use ground chicken or ground turkey or ground pork, whatever meat you have, season it salt, pepper and then wrap it into cabbage leaf and braise it in here in tomato sauce. You can use store-bought tomato sauce, whatever you want. Put a little vinegar and a little sugar so you have this middle-used European flavor, and look at that. You bring that to the table, and people are gonna think, oh my God, this must be so expensive. I don't know how they can afford that, but you know what? It's nothing, and it takes no time. Mm -hmm. 15 minutes under pressure, and you have it done. So buy think. some tomato sauce. You can add a little rosemary, a little marjoram, whatever you like, a little vinegar and a little sugar, and you get a flavor like we had in Austria. They're gonna think you spent all day in the kitchen. Totally, I mean. totally, yeah. And it's so simple. Now look at that here. We plaked a flan in here, My or favorite. a creme caramel, as you would call it. So now, we let it go cold, obviously, and it's good to do it the day before, but it cooks it really better than you can do in the oven, because if that boils in the oven, what will happen is it will taste eggy. Now look at that. So now I'm gonna cut into it. Mm. Look at that, and it is so smooth, and I always used to wonder how that happened. Look at that, see that? Look at it, and it's nice and jiggly, perfectly done. Maybe serve a little whipped cream with it. And Only 12 minutes. And 12 minutes under pressure, you get a delicious dessert. Look at it. It's the best flan I've ever eaten in my entire yeah. life. Oh, and so I remember creamy. I used to make creme caramel when I worked in south of France. And you know what? If you put it in the oven, at that time we didn't have temperatures on it, and or the temperatures were not mm -hmm. exact, and the water starts to boil in there. You cook it in a water bath. So 
Then you get like uh, Emmental cheese, you get little holes in it and it tastes like egg. And exactly. nobody wants to have a paste and kind of chewy. Like this is so creamy. Yeah. It's just different. Everything about cooking with pressure is different, but it's never been easier. And Chef Wolfgang Puck is bringing it to us today in truly one of his biggest sizes at the most affordable price point and on five flex payments, less than $20. If you want the blue, uh, blue is gonna sell out first, I am being told. We expect every single one of these to go today. I know, it is really a thing everybody needs. Just like you need pots and pans at home, but you need a pressure cooker. It will save you time. How often you come home at night and you say, oh my God, what's for dinner? I don't know what to cook. I don't wanna be in the kitchen. And then you throw everything into the pressure cooker like here, huge lamb shanks. Now look at that. Oh my gosh, look, look at, at that. that. Oh. Is that cooked or no? Look at that. Mm. You can give that to your dog to munch on it, but <laughs> he won't be very happy because there's not much meat wow. left on here. Mm. So you can cook Beautiful. lamb shanks, which are not expensive at all, but which will taste so delicious. Make a little couscous or any kind of, uh, uh, any kind of grains you like. But you know, it's expensive in, when you go to the restaurants. Lamb shanks? Yeah, no, no, totally. Whoa. I mean, it's everything. Because they have to cook them so long. Because mm -hmm. it's a lot of Five flavor. Minutes. So some, some dishes we make in the restaurant take a lot of time to cook, so they get expensive. Some dishes, like a steak, doesn't take a lot of time to cook, but the ingredients are expensive. So now you can cook at home and make it tasty, delicious, and you can serve it to your friends, and they're gonna think you are a professional chef. That now is look at that, put a little, a few mint leaves gorgeous. in here, mm. and here it you have like a Moroccan good. dish. Oh, wow, how simple, how, how okay, yeah. how long did that cook? How long? 30 minutes. 30, 30 minutes under no pressure, way. yeah. Lamb shanks in 30 minutes. Mm. You're gonna be able to cook so many things that, okay, that you would never cook in the Ribs. Oh, our oh, ribs, okay. all right. It yeah. is summer. Everybody loves ribs, but you don't wanna light up the grill all the time. You right. don't wanna go through all the work. So with this, it makes it so much easier. You can cook all your ribs in here. Look at that. Plus, oh it my. makes them so tender. Oh, totally tender. I have to wash it so they don't <laughs> fall <laughs> apart in here. You need a spoon. <laughs> and look, I'm gonna take them all out. You will see how many I have in here. I mean, you can really cook for the whole neighborhood or just for two. Mm -hmm. That's the nice part yeah, about and it. Again, you look at that. I can oh, take. Wow. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it comes oh. right off the bone. <gasps> see that? Just falls right out. Yeah. Yeah. You almost don't have to chew them. I mean, yeah. it becomes that tender. You can tender. eat, all you need is a fork and you're done. Mm -hmm. You're gonna love having this, you're gonna love using it. The cleanup is simple. Yeah, the cleanup is simple. Everything one in thing. one pot. By mm -hmm. the time you heat up your grill outside to cook your ribs, here you have them totally done. And they become, I think sometimes they become very tough outside yeah, of the grill. Yeah, for sure. If you don't cook them long enough, if you let them dry out, here, it is perfectly tender, and because you have liquid in it, they won't dry up. Now look at that here, see that? Look. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that, here's the bone. Ribs falling off the bone. In how long did we cook them, 20 minutes? 20 minutes. Yeah. <sighs> You don't want to be outside. 20 minutes that. under pressure, 30 minutes under pressure for our lamb shanks. I mean, it is amazing. Look at that, yeah. desserts. You can make a chocolate cake, a cheesecake. Here we have a caramel flan in here. Here we have our famous cabbage rolls. You know, it's very, very popular in Austria. I make them sometimes in our restaurant for lunch at Spargo, and people say, when are you gonna make them again? They taste it, say, why you don't have it on the menu? I say, well, it's one of my childhood things. I don't have it on the menu. Listen, over 700 colored greens. Okay. Oh, collard greens, yum. Um, listen, I need to give you a quick update now. Over 700 of you have made this choice. If you'd like it, please use express ordering to get through. We only brought in a very limited quantity of these today. Grab the cookbook as well, but get it when, when we have it on five flex payments and the free shipping and handling and experience food unlike yeah. you've ever experienced it's before. It's all about the taste. You know what? Oh. A lot of people might say, okay, Wolfgang, you know what? I cook fast. 
but here the taste is sealed in, the flavors are sealed in. So if you cook corn beef, oh my God, they have so many potatoes in here. I have to find <laughs> the corn beef in here. Where is it, all the way underneath? Let me to help you? Uh -huh. it, it does make, it makes the, the best corned beef. I know, and what happened is when you put the potatoes, when you put the carrots, it all will taste delicious because they all get the flavor from your corned beef. So here, look at that. Plus it locks in the nutrients because yeah. they're not just boiling away exactly. into the air. Exactly, but you don't need a lot of liquid, you don't need a lot of water. You just have that. Oh my God, look at that. There. Somebody we're likes. On a budget. So we did lots uh, of Okay, vegetables. so we have a lot of potatoes and, and very little meat. You, you cook like my mother used to cook, you know? <laughs> it's all about the potatoes. And here is the meat. Is. I found it. It's like a treasure hunt. I know, I know, I know. Thank you, uh, uh, Greg. I think uh, I didn't know we were on a budget after 19 years. We should be able to spend a little more money, but no. Now look at that. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. I don't even think you need to cut yeah. it. No, I, I can give you, me a tongue you, or yeah. even a fork. Look at that. Yeah. Oh. I mean, my gosh. look at that. So I can tender. eat it with the fork. So you have that. Look at that. See that? Wow. Mm. Falling apart. Oh. Mm. You know what? You're, look at everything that he's done. And, then the cut. and I wish you could just experience it. There are over 1,200 perfect five-star reviews. 1,200 perfect five-star reviews is, is crazy. Now, I know you out there who cook collard greens, yeah. ham hocks, and everything in here. That's what my mother used to cook on Monday when she did laundry. Every Monday, she boiled the laundry on top of the stove. I know that makes me a little old. We didn't have a wash no. machine. So she cooked that, and because the stove was hot already, mm -hmm. so she cooked barley, collard greens, dumpling, and ham hocks. That was the lunch or the late lunch, and then she added some grease knuckle, we call them, some cornmeal dumpling. I love this dish so much. I yeah. love this dish too. I don't care how much money I had, I'd eat this every I day. know. <laughs> you know, a lot of times these old-fashioned dishes mm -hmm. become so popular now because mm. people don't do them anymore. Listen, we have the cookbook available as well, yeah. but uh, if you want the pressure cooker already over 800 ordered, make sure you don't miss it. Yeah. Here's the cookbook that's available. It is worth it. This this will give you incredible inspiration. And it's only today. It's you only know, today. Free shipping, five, five flex, flex space. Payments. So you never will get that again. Five flex space. And this is the big kahuna, the big one here. So yes, you can cook for two people or for 10 people in here. So that's all Can there is to it. And you don't have to be next to it. You can use it as a buffet warmer. You can use it as a stock pot and cook it like that. But what it's about is the great flavor. Um, okay, I, I'm over here negotiating what I get to take home, okay. which is the flan. <laughs> it's like pick one, the flan mm. is so incredible. The co even the collard green, all the flavor. Okay, and maybe the collard greens, Marion. Yeah. You know, then it, then it would balance the flan. <laughs> Listen, whatever you do, don't miss this because this is that beautiful signature edition kettle. Doesn't look like it's going to make another presentation because now at this point we have only 300 remaining and this is only the second show of the entire visit. So over 2,000 already ordered, you're gonna love it. It is gorgeous. It does that whistling thing, but I've never seen a design like it and done with that beautiful, beautiful stainless steel. $29.95, free shipping and five flex payments on this as well. So if you can, we're doing five flex payments and free shipping and handling on everything cause. Yeah. 19 years right here at HSN with Chef Wolf. I know. Now this is one of the things here we use every day. And I right. tell you, if you want to bring somebody a great gift, bring him the salt and spice meal. You know, pepper and salt meal, whatever you might call it, doesn't matter. You get all these beautiful colors. And you know, if you have salt like this at home, in uh, iodized salt, you know, you can see it here, you know the, the box. I see it in a lot of houses when I do catering. Forget about it, it has no flavor, no taste, it's not good for you, throw it out. Even worse, already pre-ground pepper, black or white, whatever flavor it has, it has no flavor, no power, and it's useless. You don't know when they ground the pepper. You don't know how long you have it. So 
forget about that. You buy a little salt, a little pepper here, for example, our, our pepper, or you can go to a store, or our salt if you want to, okay? Or ginger, ginger That's, whatever it is. It doesn't even look like ginger. Yeah. <laughs> so you grind it, or you're not gonna put, here's a pepper grinder too, it costs like $8 in a right. store. You don't gonna use a thing like that and put it on the table. Now you have ours, look at that. They're so beautiful. With one, with one finger, you're gonna be able to make a pepper steak. So for a pepper steak, we coat the pepper, the steak, with coarse ground pepper. Because when you eat it, you want the flavor of it, so. And I can smell that pepper yeah. from here. It has an amazing aroma. Beautiful. And the same thing is with good salt. So you put some good sea salt in there, and that's it. All with one hand. So if you make your salad, if you want to season something, that's the way to go. Now, it's also great because this also grinds it really fine. So if you want to grind something fine, see here it's coming out finer now. So you decide how you want it. And we're doing five flex payments yeah, on this. Yeah, are here now. So you can do it the way you want it. $5.99 on your credit card. Free shipping and handling. Stock up on these yeah. today. Put all of your spices in here, not just your salts, not just your peppers. Put all your spices in here and grind them fresh. The champagne is about to sell out. I have final 700. I have it in copper. I have it in silver, red, and then the rose gold right yeah. down here. Now look at that. Here's the salt. So I put good oh. sea salt in here. I don't like to have big chunks of salt in my mouth, mm -hmm. so I grind it like that. So when we cook at home, for example, my children don't like spicy food, so I always have a pepper mill, or I have one, I don't know if we have chili in one here. So I put in one chili, I have a few of them. Right here? Yeah, and then just grind a little bit of oh, that on top and right. that's done. See that? Look at that, it's gonna be so good. I love coarse pepper. Now look how coarse you can do it, see that? I can put it here. Uh, uh, we know. And a great thing is, look, it has lights. It has lights. See that? So for, when for you are in the dining room and it's not as bright as the kitchen, you can li light it up so you see exactly how much goes on your food. You, you will love these. You will love them, you will use them. Whether you're making a soup, try to use that little hand grinder if, you, if you're trying to season a, a stock, a, yeah. a nine quart stock pot like we have coming up in our today's stuff. It'll take you all day and, and you will burn out your muscles. Yeah. This is the perfect way. It's elegant, it is beautiful. I leave mine out every day because it's so I know, so, so you can use it in the kitchen, in the dining room, from the simplest thing. For example, I love cheese, Emmental, cheddar, whatever it is, mm -hmm. parmesan for sure. Yeah. And then when somebody comes over and they just come by to say hello for whatever reason, I cut a few chunks of cheese, whatever I have, or a mixture of it, cut it in little thing, maybe open a beer or a bottle of wine, put them on a plate, just like that. Drizzle a little olive oil on it. Just like that. If you want, maybe next to it a little oh. fresh herb. Ready? And then you ground a little pepper on top. You have changed the way permanently and are I, say, I oh eat Oh my cheese. God, this is so interesting and so tasty and so simple. So you can make out of something ordinary, totally extraordinary and for the price, I mean, you want to give somebody a present, buy them a bottle of wine. You can buy my wine here on the web mm -hmm. and on the internet. Buy the wine it's, opener. Yeah, I don't buy know how much wine, it is. You can yeah. get the wine opener, but the wine opener or the awesome. salt and pepper meal is an item people are going to use every day. Every day you have to season your fish, your meat, your vegetables, whatever it is. So you're going to use that all mm -hmm. the time. And it is amazing as a present. I mean, for the price, what is it? I can't it's see the It's $29.95. It's $15 for each. For two. It's, no? fi it's $15 each. We're going to do it on five flex payments, so $5.99. If you want a couple of colors, I'll tell you what I would do. Yeah. I would take one of them, fill them with the spice, and take that as a gift. Yeah, totally. For a hostess gift. I know. So they're going to think, oh, my God, this looks so amazing, and it's something you use <laughs> all the time. And I know for my home, well, we have to cook for the kids a little different than for mm -hmm. me and for Galila. So what we do is we actually have the salt and pepper mill right there on the table. And Galila doesn't like a lot of salt. 
because she might get high blood pressure or whatever. So I put very little salt in it. But for me, I like salt. I just twist a little bit on the end, on a steak, on a chicken, on a fish, and it makes all the difference. You will see when you use mm -hmm. fresh pepper, when fresh you use ground. good salt, what the difference in taste make. You don't have to go to a restaurant and spend $100. You can eat just as well at home. We're halfway through our quantity on this and we're gonna go to the phones very quickly and say hi to Gladys, who actually, do you own the spice mills, Gladys? Hi, Gladys. Yes, yes I do. <laughs> I, I, uh, I, I, I have them. I, I have blood pressure just like you had mentioned, mm -hmm. so yeah. I use the pepper. Yeah. Okay. I use the pepper mm -hmm. a lot. Uh -huh. And uh, I, I'm calling about your pressure cookers. Yeah. I bought three of them. Oh. I bought a large one the first time, which I gave to my sister because she has a large family. Uh huh. And then I, I, I just gave a beautiful, the orange one, <laughs> which I hated to get rid of. I gave that to my daughter-in-law uh -huh. because I wanted her to try it, and she loved it. She, she made meatballs in it, and yeah. it came out so good. She was screaming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because they are so moist and fluffy. They come out like better than any restaurant. Yeah. You're right. That's what she said. She, she, she tasted the rosemary and everything in them. She was, she was uh, crazy. Yeah. And then I, I just bought a black one because I needed one for myself. I bought a small black one. Yeah. I leave it on the cabinet. I use it all the time. Yeah. You know what? It's the best thing because you cook it and then you forget about it. You know, you can do whatever you want to do. Do you have the salt and pepper meal too? She does. Yeah. Gladys, oh, we've, we've lost Gladys. Uh, uh, Gladys, Gladys thank hung you. up on us already. Thank, thank, you, thank you, you, Gladys. Listen, Thanks for calling in. We have over a thousand of you trying to get through right now. You're going to have to use Express Order or HSN.com. Get these right now, though. I will tell you, they make amazing and gifts, but you want you, these. While you still have, yeah. still have all the colors, too, which one is the lowest one in color? I think the champagne. Final 500 now, if you want the champagne. We have silver. I love the red. The, um, we also have in the rose gold, yeah. as well as your copper. The copper is going to sell out right after the yeah, champagne. I have the copper at home, too, because I love copper in the kitchen, too. So, mm -hmm. And it looks very elegant on the table. I have the red. Yeah. And it's just so much fun. But when I say get a couple of sets, because you can put your different spices in, you not just You can put your spices pepper. in, but whenever you need a present for somebody, you just keep it somewhere in the garage or wherever you have, put it in boxes, you wrap it, and you bring it to somebody, and they all said, Oh my God, where did you get that? It looks so beautiful. Oh, but beautiful. what is great, it's so useful because everybody needs to have fresh spices and it makes such a difference in your cooking. That's why we do in our restaurant or even in fancy restaurant, they come with a big pepper mill on the salad because it's it fabulous. tastes good. That's right. Well, we're gonna make everything taste good with our today's special up next. excited for this week's Monday Night Show, you definitely don't want to miss it. We're celebrating 40 years of American dreams. Celebrate with an extra hour dedicated to genius beauty innovations. Plus, transform those uncomfortable shoes into your new favorites with the help of Storesmith Shoe Stretchers. Join us at a special start time Monday at 6 p.m. or search Monday Night Show on hsn.com. Jewelry is an adventure. When you come to the designer gallery and you browse our collections, one-of-a-kind designs, artisan-crafted jewelry from around the world, you get to meet the artists. You get to hear the passion, the inspiration behind every piece. And it's exciting for a jewelry lover to get to share those stories. So if I see something new or meet someone new, it's a chance for us to bring their treasures home and share it with the HSN jewelry lovers. Welcome to Generation Wow. For over 75 years, HP has been the leader in innovation, pioneering technology through cutting edge products and forward thinking solutions. HP makes life better for everyone, everywhere. From laptops and desktops to monitors and printers, the visionaries at HP create experiences that amaze. Let their experts help you reinvent how you work, play, and live. HP and HSN, keep reinventing, only on HSN. In a world full of trends, I remain a classic.
Life is your runway. just another today's special. This is in honor of 19 years celebrating Chef Wolfgang Puck right here at HSN. So what we've done is put 19 pieces together and we've done it at the first time under $199. And today we're going to do five flex payments. We're going to do shipping and handling absolutely free. Let me go through the set because what you're going to get are not just the classics. You're going to get your new pieces too. And this is a set that can literally last a lifetime. So right here, you're going to get your classic eight inch fry pin right there. Look at that gorgeous um, 1810 stainless steel, that beautiful handle. Right here, one of your newer pieces. This is your one and a half quart cook and stir right here. Look Look at the colander lid on this as well, that easy to use handle. You can bake in this, you can put it on the stove top. Right behind here is gonna be your three quart soup pot. Just that perfect size. Again, bake your casseroles right in the, in the oven. Now this is gonna be right here, your two quart saucier. Look at that beautiful design. And we're gonna move back because you just have to look at this one. I'm actually lifting it up. 13 inch skillet comes with your lid as well. Rolled edges so you don't get the spills. Split handles so it stay cool. Right back here, never ever before. Your 10 inch nonstick grill pan included a nonstick piece that's going to give you the most beautiful grill. Way do you see the sear you get on this and easy to clean. And by the way, you can use your metal utensils on it. Next to that, never been done. Nine quart, yeah, count them. Nine quart stock pot right there with your lid. And and then right here is your four quart essential pot that is also gonna work back with that lid. We're gonna finish the set with every single utensil you need in the kitchen from your ladle, your spoon, your fork. Look at these fabulous tongs, I'm in love with those. Your whisk as well as your slotted spoon, everything you need and I'm pretty sure we should have called this the kitchen sink set because there it might is be. everything you will ever need for the rest of your life. Now I'm gonna show you one of these seasonal dishes which is a cobbler. So I have butter, I have a vanilla bean in here and I put brown sugar in here, see that? So I cooked it a little bit. Just the smell of that in your mm, kitchen right. will drive everybody crazy. <laughs> you could stop you know? right there. I'm I know. Done. You, people are going to say, <laughs> even the neighbors going to come oh. and say, oh my God, what smells so delicious. So if you can go to a store, find your vanilla beans, cook the brown sugar a little bit like that. Now you can add spices also. If you don't have vanilla bean, add cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Add a little ginger powder, whatever you have. So that's really simple. And then, Peaches, plums, and so forth are in season now. So that's when they're the best. And even if they're a little bit overripe, just put them in here. So I know a lot of people put that raw in the oven. I like mine when they smell and taste caramelized. So I cook them on top of the stove a little bit. Look at that pan, I love that pan. All right, now look at that big pan. So what is great with that, you can cook enough of it and then eat for a few days. Put some in the refrigerator, whatever. Now here, I'm making my famous bolognese sauce. Now look at how hot that is, see that? How the meat gets seared, but look at that. Nothing, <coughs> nothing really is sticking, nothing is burning because it's striped light. I just want to put my face over that and breathe for a while. I long. know, it is. <laughs> this smells mm, look incredible. At that. Now, oh if gosh. you have leftover berries, for example, <coughs> you can uh, add some blueberries or blackberries, whatever you have. How beautiful. Look at that. Is that doesn't it look good already? Uh, how simple is that? Yeah. How beautiful. We are in a huge hold, guys. Please, I'm so sorry that you're having to wait a few minutes. It's worth it, though, <coughs> yeah. whether you're picking up the salt and pepper shakers, whether you're ordering our Today Special right no. now. And here I have streusel. What is it? Oatmeal, a little butter and flour, and a little brown sugar. Mix it together, you get the recipe for it, and then now I'm gonna throw that in the oven and bake it. If you want, you can add a little lemon juice. 
and that's it. I think you got a mmm from Marion mm, yeah, over Marianne here. is getting excited, <laughs> and she's a pastry chef. We know it's good then. No, like All right, so that is going straight to the oven <laughs> yeah. because it can. This is stainless steel, and we're going to talk about why so many chefs. I would say what... what All the chefs. I don't the, yeah, go to exactly. one restaurant, except yeah. really cheap restaurant. They might still use uh, aluminum, but mm -hmm. I hate to cook in aluminum because aluminum does not clean well and it also it transmits flavor and color so it's not really because it's more porous but aluminum is a good heat conductor that's why we use it too so here i have the ground meat here you can see i saute it really well you can add a little onions if you want to and then a little garlic i did already if you want to make italian food a good idea add a sprig of rosemary to it and it will have a delicious flavor. So see that? Look how hot that is and mm -hmm. nothing sticks, nothing burns, no hot spot. So then we're gonna add a little stock if you have some. And maybe a little tomato soup or tomato sauce, store board is fine. If you have a lot of fresh tomatoes, we can throw in some fresh tomatoes here. Like I have a lot of them here. It's the season, it's summertime, so add tomatoes. And now we're gonna cook that. So you can cook it slowly on the side of the stove for about half an hour, or even in 10 minutes, you will get already a good sauce. Absolutely beautiful. Now here, this is totally new. Mm -hmm. This is our grill pan here. So we never had that before, and I'm gonna show you how I use it. If you wanna cook really healthy, if you wanna cook without any fat. So, I have steaks here, or there could be chicken breast or fish. I spray it with a little pan, and then I just put it in the hot pan. Yeah. So you, if you like it really seared, put it in the hot pan just like that. And that pan is gonna be not only non-stick, you can use metal utensils in there. Exactly, you can use metal utensils, so you don't have to babysit it, nothing. Right, and that's with, with all stainless steel. Yeah. I have, I mean, how, Marion, how old is your set of Wolfgang Puck stainless Almost steel? as long as Wolfgang, almost 19 years. Almost as old as me. Yeah. Almost, <laughs> <laughs> almost as long as we started, you exactly, know. Exactly, 19, 19 years. 19 years ago, this is my 19th anniversary. 19 years ago, we started with cookware. That's really, our reason to be here. We started with cookware. cookware for years. People were buying the cookware from us. Mm -hmm. And the only bad thing about our cookware is that people still have it, just like Marianne. 19 years. Look at that. Marianne brought us her thing here. Where is it underneath here? No? Oh, here it is. Okay, here it is. Look at, Look at that. That's <laughs> Marianne's old pan here. So and you can see it's old. heavily used from near gas flame here. You can see the thing where she pushes it around. <laughs> but this is basically 19 years old. So you have quality. Riveted handle. We you always made riveted handle. We even improved them now. So you have that just like professional right. cookware. You can't hurt it. Yeah. I mean, believe me, we've tried. You can't hurt it. But that's the beauty of it because this is what I like to call generational cookware. Your sons yeah. will be cooking know, with you, your cookware. Exactly. Cookware. Everybody, everybody loves good cookware because then you get used to it. So if we had some leftover pasta cooked already, I just throw a few uh, penne in here and we are done. So in no time, you have a good pasta dish on the table. So, and then what I like, it is so nice that I use it also to serve my dishes in here. You don't even have to transfer it to a platter. You just use it like that. Now, if you don't have pasta left over, cook the pasta fresh in lots of water. What do we do? Marianne, we actually use a big pot, a big nine quarter pot, and okay, yeah, we can get it here somewhere, but let me finish first the steak. Let me show it here. But this is the size of the pot that you're getting because I don't think you, have you ever done a nine quart stock No, pot? I think this is the biggest one. We made an eight ah. quarter, I think was the big one, but this one is the new, the newest one, the biggest one. 
And you, you know, that's the sound of quality right there. Yeah. You can hear the quality. And we'll, we'll talk about what, why you get such even heat with this and why you get such great performance from it. But this is all about cookware that, that when, when it comes to, I mean, I don't think I've ever been in a kitchen where I see them using nonstick. I know, no, <laughs> and you know nobody what? uses we, it. So for, no. for some things you want to, you know, it's nice to have a grill pan or a little egg pan or whatever, but when you want them to do the main event, yeah. you, need, you need stainless steel. Yep, so now what I love about that, it's also server. So wouldn't you be happy to put that Mm -hmm. on the center of the table just like that. Look at my pasta here, did we get a close that up? Is, Not yet. Uh, we are getting it right this we are second, getting it right there in it here. is. No, ah, finally, good, good, Wow. Good. Okay, I think we need an extra hour so we get all the shots right. <laughs> okay, and we're gonna put a little basil on it yeah. if you want to. Here we have a little sprig or rosemary. Put that in here and people are gonna think, wow, where did you learn? Now, my favorite thing always is pesto. Pesto makes everything taste better. So you add a little fresh basil, garlic, and olive oil on top of your pasta, and you bring it just like that to the table. It will stay hot for a long time. And, and you get that really now, rustic way of serving. I'm gonna show you the searing. Anybody who likes really well-seared steaks, wow. look at that. But so even, yeah. it is perfectly evenly Look at that. Cooked. This is as beautifully done as any restaurant. Yeah. So you can make your Black and steak, your black and fish, you depend the spices you put on. Or if you want, you can add some onions to it. But you're never gonna get it, you're never gonna get that even kind of look on a regular barbecue yeah. grill. No, you're not gonna get the grill and it will flare up, it will mm -hmm. burn. Here it's so easy, you want something healthy, put a little rosemary or a little thyme or whatever you have in there, and you get good flavor. So never now, if before. you're Italian, maybe, like you, yes. you're Italian. Oh, so yes. We're going to add a few chilies. Oh, bring it. <laughs> bring right. the heat, right, Marion? I and do too. And now, we're going to add a few tomatoes. You know, there's a famous Italian, I don't know if it's Jersey Italian or real Italian, a steak pizzaiolo, they mm -hmm. call it, with tomatoes, onions, a little garlic, and you just finish it just like that. So you this know. will confit a little bit. Confit means it will reduce it, and then you get almost a sauce like with it, with the barbecued onions, with the beautiful <laughs> tomato, the flavor of the thyme and the rosemary. All you have to do, maybe add a little salt to it, and that's it. That's it, that's all you have to do. And, and look at how gorgeous that yeah. is. What I wanna show you is what makes this so different? I mean, this is where it all started for you when you brought us the incredible stainless steel exactly. cookware. But this is what a lot of us think, you know, cookware is. Yeah. This is not it. What's the difference here? In terms well, of... Well, you can look at that. This is right. stainless steel, it's true. Look at that here. Maybe not 1810, I don't know, maybe 1610 or 1410. But this is so thin and it doesn't have tri -plies. So this, I could not cook well in it because with a thin thing like that, you burn everything. It gets hot spot, whatever. Mm -hmm. Now, if you just boil water, it might be okay. If not, give it to a charity or give it to somebody or just throw it out. Now look at ours, the difference. Stainless steel also outside and inside, but in the middle, you have a thick slice of aluminum. Why aluminum? Because aluminum is the best heat conductor. So now, you also can have copper. Right. But a copper pen, you know, it will, one pen will cost $199. So, exactly. So you don't need it. Why spend all the money with the, the extra money you buy, good meat, fish, whatever it is. So now, you have that. You have riveted handle. Why do we have stainless? It's because stainless is easy to clean. It's the most durable. Also, it doesn't transfer flavor and it doesn't transfer color. So it stays like that all the time. And you can show Marianne's pan here, 19 years old, and mm -hmm. it's still perfect. Absolutely. In fact, I'm going to show it to you because you have to see it to believe it. I, I have mine over 10 years. My father has his over 10 years. He still hangs it up. It's so beautiful. This is the kind of cookware that you do keep. Not years, you keep decades. You keep decades, you keep families. And that's the beauty of stainless steel. But it's why chefs use it. It's why professional chefs use it is because not just the durability of it, it's about 
the performance as well. And you're able to get it today. These beautiful pieces that you're seeing, these gorgeous, gorgeous pieces, like this one that has never been done, a 13 inch gorgeous skillet, never been done. It is, what is it? 11, what is it? 19, no, it's $11. It's $11 for this pan. Yeah. Now, go anywhere and try to find any stainless steel pan, of, especially of this quality. And I'm talking about quality, okay? I know. It yeah. is stainless right. steel. It's it as is good serious. as it gets. So mm -hmm. the problem with that is it will be good for the rest of your life. <laughs> and what is amazing, and only at the HSN, you get five flex space. So for yeah. under $40, you get the whole jabang to your house delivered for free, mm -hmm. which we do also because it is my anniversary. So don't forget that it's an important part. You don't have to lay out $200 in uh, no, August. not today. They're gonna send you or take the money every month. So you have five months to pay it off. But so, you are cooking with this yeah. in about one week and you have this on your stove and you will have it all through the holiday season. Exactly. Because we only do this once a year. This is it and you're seeing it. You're seeing our best value on our stainless steel cookware Right now, we okay, only do yeah, it to celebrate the anniversary. Maybe a few maybe? Okay, and then the toddler's ready for you, Hefe. Okay, good. And we're gonna quickly go through all the pieces you get again because... Okay, I'm gonna make a little chicken stir fry in my big pan here while you go yeah. through it, okay? Okay, sounds great. Look at this massive collection we're giving you. Biggest collection for under one, what under $200 we have ever been able to give you. So I'm gonna go through it, but it'll take me a minute. Eight inch right here, your fry pan, your classic. You will get your classics, but then you're gonna get some of the newest designs, which is why you update and upgrade today. You're gonna get your cook and stir right here has your colander lid on it. It's one and a half quarts. Right up here, you're gonna have your two quart sa saucier, which look at that beautiful design. Again, comes with your lid. Look at the quality, guys. You will feel the quality. Riveted handles. And then you have your three quart soup pot. We call it a soup pot. It's your perfect casserole um, pot as well. Right back here, never done before. 13 inch skillet right there, nice and deep, comes with your lid. Do you hear that? You, you hear the quality of Wolfgang Puck. Never before are, have we included for you a non-stick grill and you can use your metal utensils on this as well. You saw this, the perfect sear you get on this, the perfect grill marks. Never before have we given you a nine quart stock pot. This is $11 right here, $11. How can it possibly be for this kind of quality, this kind of prestige when it comes to cookware? And then right up here is your essential. And this is a four quart essential pot right here. You're also gonna get every single one of your utensils, your slotted spatula, your whisk. I love these tongs. Now, yeah. Uh, 11, try getting even your tongs, stainless steel tongs, for $11, okay? I challenge you to just go find that. You've got your fork, you've got your spoon, you've got your ladle. Everything available, $199.95. It is the best value of the year when it comes to Wolfgang Puck cookware. And what you're getting today on five flex payments with free shipping and handling is unsurpassed yeah. when it comes to totally. incredible Totally quality. crazy. Now look at that. Here I'm making my steel fried chicken in here because it has this thick bottom it does not have hot spots anywhere see that and you don't have to worry to use a plastic mm -hmm. spatula who wants right. to put plastic on the heat it's not good for you now here i have a pan heating up marianne grated me some potatoes and then you squeeze it all the liquid out and then you put it in the pan just be sure that it's nice and hot if not you spray it with a little pan and you're done so for the people out there who are scared to heat up their pan, don't worry. I use that too at home. See that? Right. Why not? Any kind of your favorite flavor, whatever mm -hmm. it is, put a little salt. And by the I way, I put a little salt on my chicken here. These are still available, but incredibly popular. Our salt and pepper grinders for $29.95. We're just going to show them to you very quickly because they have gone so fast today. I think we're about halfway through our quantity already. If you want the rose, what is this? The champagne is going to sell out very quickly. Okay, 300 left in the champagne if you want. And uh, 600 left if you want the coffee, if you want the salt and pepper grinders. You're going to love those. But you're gonna love this set. You know, know. how exciting. Look at look at this pan. Now, when Marion bought this, what was it? Like nine dollars or something? Yeah. Ten dollars? 
for this pan that she bought 19 years ago. You're getting your pieces today, the newest, the latest, the most innovative, the incredible quality. You're getting them now for about $11 after 19 years. Now that's the kind of value. And this again is, is a pan from Wolfgang Puck that is 19 years old. It's remarkable that you are going to be able to use these pans, not just for years, but truly, truly for decades. Now look at it. Here I'm making my stir fry in here. See that? Chicken with ginger, garlic, a little hoisin sauce, a little rice wine vinegar, and that's it. See that? How easy the nothing sticks, look at that. And you can see it is mm -hmm. steaming hot. So give me the platter over here. Oh. There, look at it, in the other one. All right, you put a little bit. So this is grilled Thai meat. I like the Thais better because it's not as dry as the breast. Put that in here and you have a meal which cost you maybe, yeah. with everything included, maybe 10 bucks. And you have enough for five people. So instead of having fast food, you feed your family with something healthy, put a little bit of scallions on top. Okay, and you're done. Right. Oh, no. Now no. here I'm having my potatoes. I almost forgot them. Let's turn them over. Look at that. Beautiful, crispy and brown. And one more thing, an important part, is the cleanup. Look at that here. Marianne, you come and clean. I'm too busy now. Your cobbler is ready too, Hefe. Huh? Your cobbler is ready as well. Okay, Ooh. good. Yeah, then wipe it out right okay, here. Stay next to me here. And you know, get, you don't right. have to baby this stuff. Look it's at so that. Now nice. I'm going to in my do everything. My soup there in. There's my soup over there. Okay, coming. All right. It is busy because okay, there are so many pieces water. to cook with. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Hefe. All right. This is Look a whole that. symphony of cooking, okay? You see how much <laughs> better Wolf is than me, right? <laughs> <laughs> You're doing just fine. Okay, now look at that. Uh, so you don't a... have to be, you don't have to spend time in the dishwasher. Mm -hmm. That's what I love about it. It goes so easy, so fast. Now look at that. Here you can stir fry. Let me put it on. Here we have our tomato soup. You know, there's a lot of tomatoes right now. The season is here. If you go to the farmer's market, buy the really soft one. You generally get them for a better price. Mm -hmm. And then you make soup or sauce, whatever with it. And then, Look at that here. So you can actually just bring it like that to the table. It's like a soup there in. Put a little cream, drizzle a little cream on top. See that? And you don't have to be an, a chef to do that. You can do it yourself. And then if you have pesto, put a little pesto on top or mm. just a little bit of parsley. And you serve it just like that. Put a little in there and you are done. Okay, bring out my dessert. Here we have our potato pancakes. Now look at that. Amazing. Yes. Look at that. Look at the pan here and the potatoes. See that? Right. It's totally clean. You don't even have to wipe it. Marianne, you finish that here? Okay. Right here. I'm gonna let And you look at that, our beautiful right here. cobbler here. Now we put a little powder sugar on top. Oops. And Serve it with a little ice cream and bring it just like that to the table. Just one thing I tell you to do at home, I do that in my home, wrap a towel around a handle which is hot. So that way people know it. Now look, you bring that steaming hot, the whole neighborhood gonna show up in your home and they're gonna say, oh my God, what <laughs> did she cook? It smells amazing. The vanilla, the cinnamon, the brown sugar. All right, now here, before we finish, how much time? Uh, 20 seconds. Oh my God, look at that. So here I have shrimp scampi. Uh, look, look at that, nothing sticks. So what we do is add lemon juice to, and then we're gonna add pesto. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> You're good. Okay, two Even tablespoons of pesto. <laughs> we shake it. And then we put it on a plate. Give me a plate. Where's my hand? A little fresh herb. Don't forget your spice mills. All Extremely right. limited. Oh, no, the spice mills we have oh, plenty not of. Not one like that. Jesus Christ. 
Oh, that hair, look shirt. at it. Ah, dude. Look at it. In Voila. three minutes, we have a beautiful <laughs> dish, really easy to prepare and tasty. That's a record. Don't forget your wine opener because you're going to want to have a glass of wine yeah. with your shrimp We're going to have one right now. Absolutely. I think it's 12 right. o'clock, so it's time to have a drink. But thank you all for calling in. I'll see you all at 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock. Uh, 2 o'clock Eastern back. time. Don't forget. Stay and tuned. at 2 o'clock, I'm going to give away a few cookbooks if you call me. It's gonna be fun.